I'm Bruce Betts from the Planetary Society and we are here at a U.S. gypsum gypsum mine in southeastern California for the first field test of the Planetary Deep Drill, partially sponsored by the Planetary Society and carried out by Honeybee Robotics. Planetary Deep Drill someday will hopefully enable us to drill tens of meters, hundreds of meters, maybe even deeper into planetary ices such as the polar caps of Mars, such as Europa, such as Enceladus, to look back in time, back in history. But the first step is get it out of the laboratory and test it in the field. The big step in exploration is going not, not centimeters or meters down, it go, it's to go tens of meters, hundreds of meters below the surface. And to do this we need to um, develop technology and we need to show that this technology is actually robust enough to be implemented on, a, on the next mission in the next decade or two. So we're in the back of a U-Haul truck. Makeshift, uh, yeah, makeshift U-Haul mission control. Sure. <laughs> right now uh, the drill is at 13.5 meters uh, below the surface and we've anchored the drill to stabilize it. Our microscopic camera is taking images. The resolution is about 0.5 uh, microns per pixel. If we go down, we want to bring instruments down the hall at the same time. The microscope itself has um, different LEDs, including uh, UV LEDs to look for fluorescence. We're hoping uh, that uh, maybe some more microorganisms would em emit some fluorescence. And you actually you can see a, a, just a speck oh, yeah. So who knows, maybe that is a microorganism. <laughs> Uh, we might have found life on Earth. <laughs> this is so cool to see a project that we've been involved with for a while actually get out in the field, be drilling real rock, and uh, learning stuff for the future, and hopefully moving on to exploring other planets at some point. So Albert is taking temperature uh, using an infrared thermometer. He just points it at uh, a surface on the drill that we want to monitor. It definitely gets hot, um, but we use air to cool down the mode auger motors. We're drilling approximately a meter to two meters per day. It is deep, and uh, uh, every time it's, uh, it goes down, uh, initially we are sort of worried. Uh, I mean, every time it goes down, you know, it may never come out. We've been here almost uh, five weeks now. We're gonna stick around for another week through end of next week. We wanna finish before Christmas and uh, give time a uh, you know, deserve, well-deserved break. It's the end of the day. We're packing it up, securing the hole. And we started at 11.6 meters. We ended at 13.4. The drill and the team did a good job. 